Hey everyone, John, your Blade File and Blade Files, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Okapi knife from South Africa. So, just before we begin, we're going to do a size comparison really quick, just so you have an idea. So, my standard Eka knife that I've carried for years, just so you can see the difference, and of course, the infamous Paper Mate Basic Pen. So you have an idea of the size of this knife. So as you can tell, this is a very, very long knife. And of course, we're talking about, you know, also what is the best gear for training in the Piper system. And the Okapi, obviously, coming from South Africa, is the original blade that was pretty much, that, that was actually the thing that brought about and is designed around the Piper system, per se. So, or I should say the Piper system is actually designed around it. So, the Okapi is a clasp lock, ring lock, ratchet lock knife made out of 1055, robust 1055 carbon steel, which is also a, a tool steel as well. It has decent edge retention, but is really, really, really more about the survivability of chipping and the robustness to it than, than actually retaining that edge. As a matter of fact, culturally, this knife was meant to be sharpened literally on on curbs in the street just so you could get it sharp enough to do whatever cutting task you were doing this includes like whether it be fishing or harvesting crops or even i hate to say the self-defense or more nefarious stuff which has also given this knife the nickname the saturday night special of knives unfortunately in reality this is more about south africa's ode to globalism because the knife design itself is based off of a Nahava design which is Spanish. The knife was originally manufactured in Germany and exported to the German uh, colonies of Southwest Africa which is now Namibia being a free country. And after 1988 the copies were now being made in South Africa. The knife handle and the knife itself again 1055 tool steel. The overall length of this knife is about nine inches. The blade itself is about four inches. The weight comes in at about 2.4 ounces, making it a very light knife. The handle is made out of a resin-infused wood, uh, maybe cherry, maybe not, I do not know, and then the fittings are obviously a stainless steel, and you can see the inlay here, which is really, really nice, representing the, the horns of the of the Okapi and of course you know the the three stars which you know also gives this a nickname the three star knife so it's a three dollar knife so the, you're getting a lot of knife for three dollars it's it's actually pretty good for three dollars however there are some fit and finish issues with this knife the first thing is the wood itself is unevenly plain so we actually have more wood coming up on this side than this side in the blade channel which is you know somewhat interesting there is no liner obviously that also adds to the lightness of the knife but also it also means that if you're trying to do a pulling task with this knife the blade could have problems in the future you know detaching from the handle because it's only held by this pin inside the knife right here if we look at the back spine here where we have the the actual mechanism for the actual spring that, that, that allows you to detach and then reopen the, the, uh, the ratchet lock, you'll notice right here, if I can bring this in, that there's a gap between this and it actually also slides a wee bit. It's actually fairly loose and then of course there's not a lot of chamfering on this as well. So it's, it's, it, you could actually possibly cut yourself right here on this. The knife itself is again is, is a fairly light knife the ring itself you know not too bad it's actually a standard ring fairly well chamfered and then the ratchet itself is actually if i can show this right now is actually outside we can take a look here is actually on the outside of the actual handle of the knife which means you know gunk and other stuff could actually get into it also the the actual ratchet going back after the half stop just closes after this position which means if your fingers are in the way right to about here 
you're in deep trouble. You're going to probably have problems. But otherwise, it's an incredibly light knife. Fairly easy to open, two-handed opening. Fairly easy to close by pulling this ring back and placing your thumb here and pulling almost like a hand grenade. Don't worry, it's not going to blow up. And again, the, the safety half stop ends about right here. If we take a look here, and then the knife just closes. Whoa, and that could be devastating for your finger as you see as it closes. So would I recommend training with the Piper system with this? If you want to. Is this the safest knife around? Absolutely not. Is this a knife that is good for the price? Yes, it's a whopping $3. At the same time, it is also very hard to get here in the United States. And it has a wee bit of a negative reputation attached to it, obviously. Again, it's a Saturday Night Live, the Saturday Night Special, not Saturday Night Live, that's actually a TV show, but the Saturday Night Special of Knives. And an interesting point of trivia, this is also a knife that is also exported to Jamaica. And Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones was actually giving a larger version of this knife, and he carried it around for years. So if you're a Rolling Stones fan, maybe you'll want to buy this knife. If you're a person wanting to practice Piper here in the United States, uh, you know, uh, maybe not. So that is my review. Hopefully you found it helpful. And again, check out our website, schoolofarmsmedia.com, where we have a bunch of videos on the Piper system starring Lloyd DeYoung. If you have questions, you can also check out our blog that has many, 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 well, not many, many, but plenty of information about the Piper system. And hopefully you found this useful and have yourselves a great day.